Let's get you back to the Mo Betta's courtside seats and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Well, the BYU Cougars owned much of the first 30 minutes of tonight's game, but they absolutely took ownership of the final 10 minutes of this game. BYU ultimately leads for 30 minutes and 31 seconds in dispatching UCLA 78 to 63. And BYU was down. BYU was trailing with under 10 minutes to go, 52-51. The key run was a 10-0 spurt. And the Cougars would never trail again after being down 52-51. 10-0 surge. And Alex Barcelo, three, and a TJ Haas, three. The final two buckets in that thrust. And TJ Haas was tremendous down the stretch. When BYU needed him most, on a night he was struggling. I believe it was one for six. Yeah. And then made four of his last five from the field. Finishes with 15 points. Jake Toulson ends up with 20. TJ with 15. But I think I, I think TJ was uh, almost as much as anyone responsible for this win tonight. Well, I think Jake played really well and, and kind of kept BYU in this game to that point. But no doubt it was TJ that was the spark late in that game and, and got BYU this great finish. And I think I think he kind of had a little bit of a realization, Greg. He'd really been pressing himself. And when he took it to the hoop, he was forcing shots, right? That's what he and he was getting frustrated. And then I think he realized, man, if I can just get in the in the paint and not shoot, I'm going to cause a lot of problems for their defense. Mm. And he's dribbling around in the paint, doing all. Everybody's looking, and then he kicks it out to someone else and knocks down the shot. I think that will help him to know he doesn't always have to force up a shot at the rim. Be be a distributor, be a player to, that creates for other people. And uh, I think that was a big change in this game. And then everybody's in it. Everybody's going. Rather than one guy doing everything, I really liked how BYU played as a team. And it, when they got everybody clicking, that's a dangerous team. BYU ends the night shooting 62% mm. from the field. Now, you ask, do. you ask any college basketball coach around what, what, what is, what's a hallmark of a Mick Cronin team, and it's going to start with defense. It's not going to go to tempo. It's not going to go with great offenses. They defend you. BYU shot 62%. With size and quickness. With, and hit lots of length. And BYU uh, defeated that to 62% tonight. 50% from the arc at 9 of 18. 88% from the free throw line. They're going to beat a lot of teams at 62, 50, and 88. BYU gets out rebounded by two tonight. By 14 to 6 on the offensive glass. The Bruins did end up shooting five more times than BYU tonight. But the Cougars, the much more productive and efficient team on the night. BYU did have 13 assists to go with those 13 turnovers. UCLA tonight shoots 46%, 36%, and 53%. That's a lot of free throw misses. Uh, 8 of 15 from the line tonight for UCLA as BYU went 9 for 18. So after getting only 7 free throw attempts at Boise State, the Cougars up that number tonight to, uh, well, 1 more than they had. It was literally 1 more. 7 of 8 uh, was BYU from the free throw line. UCLA was 8 of 15. BYU led by Jake Toulson's 20, Colby Lee had 13, TJ Haas 15, Dalton Nixon with 8, Alex Barcelo with 9, Zach Selyus with 9, we'll talk with Jazz Zach on our postgame show, and Connor Harding had 4, gets you to 78. UCLA puts 4 Bruins in double figures, 16 for Bernard, and that came off the bench, 12 for Riley, 11 for Campbell, 10 for Prince Ali, 8 for Jalen Hill, 6 for... Uh, Eight for Jalen Hill, four for Chris Smith, and two for Alex Olashinsky getting into 63. UCLA had scored between 69 and 78 points in every game this year. They get to 63 tonight on BYU. They allowed 88 to Hofstra in a loss, 78 to BYU in a loss tonight. So the Cougars, in winning 78-63, go to 4-2 and two on the year, and they get to the winner's bracket in Maui, which hadn't happened since your 1992-93 team. So that same year that you came to Maui, you ended up playing Kansas in the NCAA tournament, as we discussed, and the Cougars will get KU tomorrow night. Consider, Mark, that in 2004 and in 2014, BYU's last two trips to the Maui Invitational, BYU went a combined 2-4, and four, and the only two wins were against Chaminade. So they yeah. lost all the good teams and beat the team you're going to beat. Well, now they get a great team. And win or lose against Kansas, yeah. getting there is half the battle tonight. Yeah, yeah, it's just fun. I mean, th these guys will talk about this game the rest of their lives. Trust me, because me and Kevin Nixon and Nick Sanderson we, and you know, Gary Trost, Re Randy Reed, we talk about those games still to this day when we get together. And that, this is a great win. Now you get a chance to play Kansas. Kansas got like three different seven-footers that are going to play in the NBA. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and Dotson. I mean, they're super good, but 
I tell you, shoot nine for 18 from three. You, you might be around in that game. Who knows what could happen? And they played hard. They rebounded well. They, they're within two rebounds of, of UCLA here. So they're, they're finding ways to get things done. They're playing with confidence. And, but, it, but it is fun just to, to – you got the win. Now let's go play – freaking kansas and show them what we got and uh, you're in the winner's bracket this is fun i'm happy for the guys after that boise state kind of debacle uh you know they've done some really neat things this year yeah. uh, houston and now, now this one yeah. so i'm just happy for the guys and they're, they're they're playing super hard which i love they're just playing they're getting after it. zach Celius and connor harding man guys are just working and that's i really respect that like that it's fun to watch it is a night for some hawaiian happiness as the cougars do advance to the winner's bracket by defeating ucla and handily too 78 to 63 time now for the new skin data discovery of the game brought to you by new skin discover the best you mark what have you discovered in tonight's box score yeah so uh congrats coach hey I, i'm i'm looking at points in the paint this is a byu team that, that doesn't have the bigs right so we're, we're supposed to believe 40 to 32 over wow. ucla in the paint Colby Lee again, finding a way. He's just getting really good at finishing. You know, getting space, getting ready for the catch, and then finishing. And then Dalton Nixon, a big shot here. And, and you know, uh, we mentioned the Nixons in Maui. Don't count again. Don't, <laughs> don't ever bet against the Nixon in Maui. Yeah, it, that 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 uh, the one, the second three he hit, right? That was yeah. kind of the capper, yep. right? That was the capper. The, that that Dalton Nixon three made it seventy two fifty eight. Yeah, so BYU was up eleven. When they went up 14, I think I think that's when you said this is it. That's it. That's that, over. that was that was that was all good night. That was Aloha means goodbye for UCLA. That was BYU's last three of the night. BYU ended up with a nine Mountain America Credit Union three pointers on the evening. With every three pointer BYU makes, Mountain America donates fifty dollars to the American Red Cross. All right, final score: BYU 78 and UCLA 63. We'll have more from courtside. Player and coach conversations forthcoming coming up next, though, from BYU Radio back in Provo. It is Cougar Post Game Live with your host, Jason Shepard. That's coming up next here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. The final horn has sounded, and today's game is complete. Give to Yo. Yo drives to the oh. rim. Throws it down. Time now for Cougar Post Game Live on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's your host, Jason Shepard. How about that, Cougar fans? You stood, you uh, stayed up late, but it was well worth it. BYU gets the win in the first round of the Maui Invitational over UCLA. Going away, Cougars beating the Bruins 78-63, 20 points from Jake Toulson, 13 points for Kobe Lee. T.J. Haas with 15, a fantastic team effort. And now BYU moves into the winner's bracket. They will face the number four team in the country, the Kansas Jayhawks, tomorrow night, 8.30 Mountain Time, will be the tip-off time from the Lahaina Civic Center. Pre-game coverage here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network, will begin at 7.30, and the news gets even better. Fans, remember when the Cougars win, you win with Papa John's Pizza. Use the online promo code BYU50 at PapaJohns.com tomorrow and receive 50% off pizza at any Utah locations. All right, let's update you on all of the action from the Maui Invitational. Now that it is a final, we now know the times of every game for tomorrow. We'll start with the earliest game today over in Maui, Dayton and Georgia. Dayton getting the win over the Bulldogs, 80-61 the final score. Virginia Tech upsetting Michigan State, 71-66. to Kansas, 30 better than Chaminade at 93-63. That's how we knew the winner of our game would face Kansas. And again, BYU defeating UCLA 78-63. to So here's the schedule tomorrow over at Maui, over in Maui, excuse me, Georgia. Facing Michigan State, 2.30 Eastern Time, 12.30 Mountain. Chaminade will now face UCLA at 5 o'clock Eastern, 3 o'clock Mountain. Dayton will take on Virginia Tech at 8 Eastern, 6 Mountain. And then our game, BYU and Kansas, 8.30 Eastern Time. Or excuse me, 10.30 Eastern Time, 8.30 Mountain. Other scores from the top 25 today. 
Number 10, Ohio State, defeating Kent State 71-52. to It was Tennessee, 17th ranked in the country, defeating Chattanooga 58-46. to 18th ranked Auburn, getting the win over New Mexico 84-59. to And VCU, defeating Alabama State 78 78- to 62. Earlier this afternoon in Florida as part of the Gulf Coast Showcase, Weber State taking on Wright State, the Wildcats falling, final score 72-57 in favor of Wright State. Coming up on the other side, the night in the NBA plus Monday night football action between the Ravens and the Los Angeles Rams. BYU gets the big win over UCLA. They move on to take on Kansas tomorrow. Cougars get the win 78-63 over the Bruins. We'll have more of Cougar Post Game Live coming your way next on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's Jason Shepard with more Cougar Post Game Live on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU 78, UCLA 63. Cougars moving on tomorrow to take on the fourth-ranked Kansas Jayhawks. It's time for the Mountain America three-point recap for each three-pointer BYU makes. Mountain America donates $50 to the American Red Cross. Tonight, the Cougars made nine three-pointers for a total of $450. That brings the donation total for the season to $2,550. Monday night football action tonight. Baltimore Ravens taking on the Los Angeles Rams. It was a blowout in favor of the Ravens. They are now 9-2 and two after their 45-6 win over the L.A. Rams. In the NBA tonight, the Utah Jazz beginning a five-game road trip. They begin it with a loss in Milwaukee behind 50 points from Giannis Antetokounmpo. The Bucks beat the Jazz 122-118. to Nets on top of the Cavs 108-106. to Pacers defeating Memphis 126-114. to Celtics now 12-4 as they defeat the Sacramento Kings by one point, 103-102. to Raptors defeat the 76ers 101-96. to Lakers continue to roll. They win in San Antonio 114-104. to And the Thunder come back and win in San Francisco over the Warriors. It looked like uh, Golden State was going to get the win. That was not to be 100-97 in favor of OKC. That is a wrap for Cougar Post Game Live. After the break, we'll get you back to the Lahaina Civic Center for the Cougar Locker Room Show. Your final tonight from Maui. BYU beats UCLA 78-63, and you heard it all right here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Our exclusive post-game coverage continues with the Cougar Locker Room Show. A strip and the Cougars get it back. Sellius for the dunk! Zach Sellius throws it down! The Cougar Locker Room Show was brought to you by Utah Community Credit Union. Get more house, same payment at UCCU. It's what we do. Now let's head back to the Mo Betta's courtside seats and join the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. BYU 78 and UCLA 63, our final score. And we are joined by... Zach Selyus on our Sport Court courtside interview. Brought to you by Sport Court. Champions start here. Zach, uh, how are you going to describe this game uh, when someone asks you about it, whether next week or next year or whenever? Um, I'm going to describe it as just a battle. Well, it was awesome. It was fun. It was entertaining. You know, it was you know, all the above. You know, you, you can, it's almost undescribable, but it was just something that you'll never forget. You know, there was just things going up and down, and then finally just being able to where your team is just on fire and you guys are having so much fun and you just keep going. It's UCLA. I mean, you see that? It's iconic, right? You see the UCLA across the front and the color scheme, and it's uh, any win over them is going to be special. They'd, they'd beaten BYU the last four times I think they'd met. Uh, they were 4-0 till last week. They were playing well. Uh, you beat a good team, and you had to play great to beat a good team, right? Yeah, exactly. And, you know, growing up, you see UCLA, and you're like, man, that's a powerhouse team. And, you know, it's a dream to be able to go and play them. And, you know, it's awesome to be able to say that you beat them. And so it's it, it's a fun game, and it was a fun experience. Well, Zach, I'm so happy for you and the guys, and I testify that you will indeed remember this forever. I speak to someone that has won a, game, a couple games on this court, and it's a neat experience. Zach, I, 
you almost got a double double tonight, nine points, but eleven rebounds, and and this rebounding is so important for this team right now to be able to compete against teams like UCLA. Do you feel like an added drive to go out and get rebounds when you know that it's something your team needs, like like uh, BYU does right now? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, Coach Pope keeps telling us that we're going to be a great rebounding team, and the only way to be able to get rebounds is to just attack it and. You know, you go into practice and you you try to work as hard as you can to, you know, be able to do that. But in games, it's just not the same as practice when you rebound. You know, it's just attacking it. And um, Coach Pope during the game today just said, let's go get a rebound. And me, Dalton, Colby all stood up and said, okay, we're going to go get rebounds now. And that's how it works. Those 11 rebounds, career high. For Zach, Willi- uh, for Zach Selyus, and it comes here in the Maui Invitational. Nine points, 11 boards, and a team high, and a game high, plus 15 in the plus-minus for Zach. We're back with Zach right after this. BYU 78 and UCLA 63 on the final game of day one at the Maui Gym, Maui Invitational at the Lahaina Civic Center. Back with Zach after this. This is the Cougar Locker Room Show on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Now back to the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. BYU 78, UCLA 63 tonight's final score here on the nightcap of the Maui Gym, Maui Invitational. BYU moving on to face Kansas tomorrow night. It'll be a 7.30 radio pregame and 8.30 radio tip back in the mountain time zone. Zach uh, Zach Selyus is with us here. At the Lahaina Civic Center, Zach with a nine points and 11 rebounds tonight, part of BYU's winning effort. So uh, you go from one iconic team to another. Uh, KU tomorrow night, thoughts on that? It's awesome. <laughs> you know, to be able to do this all, you play UCLA, you go play Kansas, and you're doing it in Maui, you know. <laughs> How much better could that get? And so it'll be awesome. It's a great experience. Zach, this team's had some ups and downs. With the big win at Houston, you drop one. Uh, boys, how, did, how do you think the team, obviously – they reacted well, but what was what happened after that Boise State game with this team to get ready for this tournament? Um, it's a learning experience. You know, Coach Pope says every game is you know time to get better, and so each day we're trying to get better, and you know just maybe just a little bit at a time. But each day you're trying to go up and up, and then each game you're improving and learning from the last. And so from that Boise State game, you know we just wanted to fight. You know disappointed and just wanted to come out and do what we do is it true that you said if you got to the winner's bracket at uh, the Ma- at maui that you would shave your mustache no that oh. is not true <laughs> that was never out of my mouth oh okay <laughs> rumors okay uh zach way to go we'll see you tomorrow night good job thank you so much right. thanks zach. that is zach selius in our sport court courtside interview brought to you by sport court champion start here learn how to design yours at sportcourt.com coach mark pope next here on the new skin byu sports network It's time to get the final word on today's game with head coach Mark Pope. It's the BYU Dining Cougar Post Game Coaches Show. BYU Dining, the classic BYU tradition. Have a scoop today. The Cougar Post Game Coaches Show is also brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union. Mountain America Visa credit cards featuring triple rewards. Now let's rejoin the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. It is the BYU Dining Cougar Post Game Coaches Show brought to you by BYU Dining and the BYU Creamery, the classic BYU tradition. Have a scoop today. We are joined courtside by the head coach, the Cougars, Mark Pope. Coach Pope's team defeats UCLA by a score of 78 to 63 tonight. Coach Pope, congrats on what feels like a pretty big win for you, the team, the program. It's great. Yeah, it's, it's a big win. I, I don't know what it is about why BYU UCLA sounds so good in my ears, but like that's the type of game that we should play and we, sh- we should win. And I'm just so proud of our guys. They. They grew tonight, um, and and that's what we're really looking for. We're we're looking for is are we getting better? Are we getting better? Are we figure things out? Are we starting to understand? Are we starting to speak the same language than we did tonight? You led for more than thirty of the game's forty minutes, but you were down with ten minutes to go. Yep. Uh, you know, listen. You know, you take San Diego State. Uh, you take Houston, you take Boise State, and you take this game, and all of them, you know, are somewhere in the same proximity with ten minutes to go. The difference tonight that I'm so excited about, and it was it was all my fault actually, is in those first three games. Even though we won the Houston game, we just got sticky with the ball, 
uh, down the stretch. And tonight, these guys were really relentless about just saying, hey, we're going to continue on and we're going to go to make the next play for our guys and make the next get, get, play for our guys. And the end result is what you can see. You can actually run away. Um, but there was so much trust on our bench and uh, among our five guys on the floor. There was so much trust. Jake was trusting his guys. TJ was trusting his guys. Everybody was trusting each other that they would go make the next play. So we didn't have to stop and bring it out and play in an isolation game. And when you when you develop that kind of trust on a team, it's what we've been searching for and trying to figure out. And, you know, if, if we can start to live some higher percentage of that life where we trust each other and we get ball movement to make the right play, we're going to continue to grow as a team. Okay, we had a brief broadcast interruption here, uh, courtside at the Lahaina Civic Center. As we took that unscheduled break, Coach Pope was talking about uh, T.J. Haas and kind of how he, he uh, you know, his resurgence in the second half. Coach was kind of the BYU's resurgence and they helped get you, helped you get it done tonight. Well, and T.J. made some, you know, here's what I'm asking of T.J. One of the things I'm asking him to have unbelievable discretion on his penetration once he gets in the lane about his decision making. You know, one of the things about young players or players that uh, that haven't really, really matured, which is most of us, is we get in the lane and we think every, every shot is a good shot, and it's not. Uh, one of the best plays of the night was, I don't know what it was, seven, six, five minutes. TJ penetrated down the right side of the lane. He dribbled all the way through the baseline, came out all the way on the top, and finally it opens up and, and he, hits, uh, he hits Kobe for a layup, right? And, and that is that is part and parcel of what we're asking him to do right now is to be really, really judicious and really, really like high, high IQ uh, to take the game to another level, to be like a, a Gary Payton or like a Steve Nash in terms of what he does off the bounce because he's so he, – he can get by anybody. And um, he, he did an unbelievable job with his decision-making tonight. And, uh, you know, we, we, we ran a stagger, a triple stagger for him. It came off and banged that three. That was a huge play. And then got down a couple times late. And it wasn't easy sledding. It was tough for 30 minutes with TJ. It was tough. He wasn't guarding as well as he can. Uh, he was uncomfortable kind of – he's trying to kind of feel out what I'm asking him to do, but he was uncomfortable with it. And he just hung in there and hung in there like a true vet. And he ends up, you know, taking us on a runaway win first round of Maui versus UCLA. It's really special. And maybe before the break, a quick word about uh, Dalton Nixon. We've talked about Dad Kevin and what he did here. It felt like when he hit that three, yeah. that puts you up 14, just under three to go, then, then the job got done. Yeah, this is Dalton Nixon. I mean, just what we said every time, winner. He's just a winner. He is a winner. And him and Zach, I, I, I mean, these guys have been together for a long time. But you think those two guys, I'm not sure there's anything they can't get done together. It's, it's extraordinary. And uh, so proud of both those young men. All right, we'll take a break. Closing comments from Coach Mark Pope coming up next here on the BYU Dining Cougar Postgame Coaches Show. You're on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. <laughs> All right, so we are back, and we hope you can all hear us. Now courtside here at the Linus Civic Center, Greg Rubel, Mark Durant, Coach Mark Pope with us, BYU 78 and uh, and UCLA 63. Coach, I'm not sure how many folks would have expected BYU to win the points in the paint battle tonight, knowing how UCLA is and how they play and who they are. But 40 to 32 in the paint felt like a pretty big number. Yeah, it was a huge number. Uh, you know, it, it, the, the points in the paint was huge. The rebounding differential was really, really important for us. They, they outrebounded us on the offensive glass 14 to 6, but overall it was only 28 to 26, and this is one of the best, statistically best offensive rebounding teams in America. We're making progress, right? That's what I'm so proud of. These guys are really taking things to heart and understanding the points that we have to emphasize to do well. And so both those things are huge. Um, and, and what's nice about these points in the pain is, is that they came with a little bit more sense about what we were doing it wasn't just r racing and kind of jacking up really hard shots they were our guys had great discretion in the, in in the possessions they chose uh you know we haven't talked about alex barcelo alex barcelo in transition the things he turned down the tough opportunities here turned down was magical that's why we shot so well from the three in transition at halftime we were 2.66 points per possession in transition a lot because Alex Barcelo turned stuff down to get better stuff for his team. And if we can keep playing like that and our guys can keep understanding where we're most effective and efficient, it's going to be really special. Coach, the last two games I've seen, I've just been so impressed. You know, Houston and UCLA, these are big-time programs, and, and the team has come out with aggression, with confidence. 
and they play so hard. I mean, that that seems to be my what my takeaway from watching these guys early in this season is how hard they play. That's got to be very gratifying to you as a coach to get guys to play that hard. Yeah, it's uh, you know, come on, we're all really fortunate to to watch these guys, even in the games where we've come up short. They're putting their heart and soul on the floor, and they're fighting through frustration. I mean, they're enduring frustration. It's not they're not letting it get them sideways in terms of the energy on the court. It's really special. I mean. I genuinely believe this. We talked about this last night at the coaches' deal. I genuinely believe that we have a group of guys that do not want to let each other down. They just they just want to ring the bell for each other, and when, that's a powerful building block. And hopefully, we can we can stay there and keep growing that way because it's been really fun to be, it's been fun to be around these guys and, and watch how hard they compete for each other. Well, Coach Pope, the last time that BYU played in the winners' bracket of the Maui Invitational. My partner, Mark Durant, was on the team. It was great, Mark Durant. Let's go. Yeah, listen, Let's listen. go. <laughs> and the last time the BYU played Kansas on the hardwoods, yeah. Mark Durant was on the team. Is that right? There we go. Hey, let's see if we get it done tomorrow, boys. I'm excited. We're bringing it back full circle. Well, great job tonight. We will see you back here tomorrow. Thanks, Thanks Coach. Thanks, gentlemen. All right, that is Coach Mark Pope in the BYU Dining, BYU Creamery, Cougar Post Game Coaches Show. Closing comments next here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to the Cougar Post Game Coaches Show on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Now, back to the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Well, for the first 30 minutes or so, tonight's game had more twists and turns than the road to Hana. <laughs> but then at a certain point, BYU just said, uh, enough of that. Let's just uh, take this game and run away with it. And that they did. I mean, that's that was super fun. I'm happy for the guys and Coach Pope. I mean, he... He's just a fun guy, and you want good things for him. And uh, that was just a, uh, that was a, a great. It's one thing to get invited. It's nice to get invited. I'm tired of just getting invited. I want to come and and do some damage. I want to get wins, and they got a win tonight. And this, I think he's right. What he says about this team, they play hard. They play for each other. They play with confidence. Yeah, they got some issues, and you know, obviously, without Yoli Childs, that that that's that's a glaring issue. But this team's finding a way to figure it out. I thought it was really intriguing to hear what he had to say about TJ because I can see it. And I I could see TJ was struggling, and and I think he got into TJ's face a little bit and and told him, uh, and you could see the change. I mean, it was a palpable change in the way TJ played at the end there, and it made all the difference. And I I think this team kind of learns, you know, they recognize their weaknesses, then they find, then they go attack them and and do things better. And like, like you said, you know, points in the paint. Early in the season, a Colby would get it and kind of throw it up crazy, and it would never go in. Now he's sees the penetration. He creates space. He finds the opening. When his man goes to help on the penetration, his hands are up. So it's just a matter of catch and shoot it quickly. And no, no guys are coming to block his shot. And that's something he's learning. And you can see the, the, the steps they're making. And now you just kind of go out and just have some fun against Kansas. And maybe you make some threes, and they – it, it maybe who knows what can happen we see it every day in college basketball so i'm just excited for this team you get a win against ucla now go play kansas and you're you're doing something in the tournament you just didn't get invited you're winning games in the maui invitational all right i feel exactly the same way and we are going to bring it to you tomorrow night with a 7:30 mountain time pregame and an 8:30 mountain time tip for byu and ku not since the days of mark durant the player Had the Cougars and Jayhawks met on the hardwoods, but they'll do it tomorrow night. We look forward to bringing that to you. For tonight, our appreciation to the entire crew, starting with our crew back at BYU Radio in Provo. We had intern Jeff, Jeffrey Carroll assisting. We had Jason Shepard, of course, in the scoreboard studio. We had engineer Barry Squires, our control board operator, Tanner Rawl, and Terry South is our coordinating producer. So thanks to all those folks. Our appreciation to BYU Basketball Media Relations Director, Kyle Chilton, and... Because he was serving as our statistician tonight. He does more than just uh, uh, relate to the media uh, with the basketball program. He was our statistician tonight. So appreciation to Kyle. And for my color commentary colleague, Mr. Mark Durant, my name is Greg Grubel. We appreciate also Zach Selius and Coach Mark Pope joining us uh, post game. Uh, Coach Pope with us pre and post every game. And uh, uh, Cody Feeger was also part of our pregame coverage earlier tonight, too. So appreciation to Coach Feeger. So for everyone, my name is Greg Grubel saying. Aloha, and in the meantime, and in between time, this has been BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Good night, and so long from Maui. 
been listening to live coverage of BYU basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU basketball is brought to you by Deseret First Credit Union. You know why? We show how. Les Olson, your technology partner. Smith's Food and Drug. Smith's now has grocery pickup and online delivery to save you time. Also sponsored by State Farm. Talk to an agent today at 1-800-STATE-FARM. BYU Basketball is a production of BYU Athletics in association with BYU Broadcasting. Special thanks to BYU President Kevin Worthen, Vice President Matt Richardson, Athletic Director Tom Holmo, and General Manager of Corporate Sponsorships Casey Stoffer. BYU Basketball is an exclusive presentation of the new skin, BYU Sports Network.